Hi, it's Patrick from JMP Cycles, and we're going to change the oil on this 2012 Sportster. For most of the rubber mount Sportsters, uh, like 2004 and up, this is going to be pretty similar, as well as some of the Evo Sportsters. So we're not going to need many tools. We're going to need a flat-bladed screwdriver, and I'm going to use an oil filter wrench. If you don't have one, it's not necessary, but we sell them and there's a few bucks, and it'll make the job a lot easier. Of course, you're going to need some drain pans, and we're going to use our Milwaukee Twins oil change kit, which uh, is actually synthetic for this particular oil change, and it comes with a filter. So before I get to the drain, I like to go over and pop the fill cap on the tank so it allows air to draw through so it doesn't vacuum lock and all that oil drains out of there nice. So we're going to come around here and locate the drain on this model. This particular one is right down here. It's just, it's actually this hose that's hanging down behind the primary side here behind the frame. And it's got this plastic plug that's stuck in there. And all we have to do is loosen this hose clamp, pull this plastic plug out, and the oil is going to start to flow out of the motor. On some of the earlier models uh, in the Evos, this hose was routed to a, a post that was solid on the motorcycle. But this particular one has this plastic plug here. So we got this pretty loose. We need to pull the plug out and the oil is going to come out. So we, now we need to bring the pan in to catch our oil. Okay, so it's going to start to drain. And while this drains, we'll move up towards the front and take the oil filter off. But I do like to let this drain down just a little bit so we get less of a mess up front. So before you take this filter off, it's, a, it's not a bad idea to have another pan or the pan you used for the drain up front because a certain amount of oil is going to come out of the filter. We're going to spin the oil filter off and you don't need this wrench. You can do it with a pair of channel locks or something, but this wrench makes it a lot easier. Good investment for a couple of dollars. So we're done draining oil out of this. I'm going to go ahead and move the pan out of the way and run our plug back in there. Tighten our hose clamp up. You don't have to get real crazy with it. When it feels, when it feels snug, it's done. And that's that. Wipe up a little bit of excess oil and we'll go back up front and put our new filter on. So we'll tidy up just real quick in here, wipe some oil off uh, that ran down the motor case and get our surface, our gasket surface clean there. And then we're gonna take our new oil, we're gonna get a little bit on our finger and run it around the rubber gasket surface on the oil filter. Also, we're gonna preload this oil filter with about four or five ounces of oil. We're just gonna dump it right in here. This is kind of personal preference. You don't have to do this, but it's just something we're gonna do in this one. We're gonna preload it so it gets to circulating right away. And then when you tighten this down, just hand tighten it. Don't use the oil filter wrench on this. It's not necessary and you can actually over tighten it. And it will, as it circulates through there, it's gonna suck down on there. So just hand tighten this. All right, we're all done there. We're gonna go ahead and start filling this up. So according to the service manual, we wanna put two quarts in this. Then we wanna get it down on the ground on the kickstand or jiffy stand, according to Harley, and then start the bike, make sure the oil light goes off. And then if we need to top it off, we'll check the level. So we'll go ahead and get our two quarts of oil in here and put the cap on. We're going to start the bike and we're specifically watching our oil light here and if it doesn't go off in a few seconds we need to shut the bike off and then add some more oil but it should go off in a few seconds we'll let the oil kind of circulate through the motor and then we will check it to see our fill level and see if we need to add into the motor so we just let it run for a minute or so to circulate through the motor now we're going to take our dipstick and check our level and it is just barely touching the bottom there. If it's below the line on the dipstick here, it says one quart. So basically if you're below this, this line, you need to add a quart. So we're gonna, just to be safe, we're gonna add a half at a time. 
because you never know what can end up there. So it's easier to add it than it is to drain it back out. So we're gonna add a, a half a quart right now. So it's up on there pretty good, but uh, I'd rather have it farther up in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and add the other half a quart. Go ahead and fire it up, let it circulate through and check it one last time. Yep, it's about three quarters up in there. So we're about perfect. I'm completely happy with that. So it's done. Really pretty slick. No problems. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to contact us on our 800 number. You can chat with us online at jpcycles.com. Or if you're watching this on YouTube, please feel free to respond in the comment section below. And if you like this and you want to see more of it, make sure you click the subscribe button. Now, go work on your motorcycle.